What's up, y'all? You already know this your rock star, Wicked Wedge. <laughs> it's a lot of rock beef going on. Whoo! It's another band that's beefing with Frankie from Emma's. We 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 gonna get to this. It basically said this is the tour. The dude John Arnold, he basically said, "Shout out to our support." Bands. I mean, what, what's that supposed to mean? You you can really take that any kind of way you want. You feel me? But Frankie, he ain't take that too lightly. So then here he come back, you know, with another post. Thank you. We had a blast. Out selling you. Out playing you. Just overall crushing it. Sorry half the crowd left last night. Always next time. Whew. And then that's when Alpha Wolf, you know, they replied back. They basically said, that concludes the half living things, North American tour. We owe the biggest thank you to. And you know, they shouting out the bands for being such incredible bands to tour with. We're leaving the US with our hearts full and we cannot wait to return. They like, man, we got bigger things going on. You feel me? Now is your chance to send in your video question to me. It don't even matter what you want to ask me, because I'm going to answer it. James Hetfield is tight at the Hall of Fame over Lemmy. Let's get to it. He basically said, I have been given some ashes of Lemmy and a little silver bullet that was like a necklace. The Iron Cross and the Ace of Spades, so Lemmy is able to still fly the bird to the world via me. And just a reminder of what an inspiration he has been in my life, what to do, what not to do. He also added, the most rock and roll lifestyle living person on this planet is not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is a travesty, a shame. It's kind of a disrespect to rock and roll, basically. So this tattoo, is me paying homage to him. Listen, y'all, what y'all think about, you know, what he said about Lemmy? Comment below and let me know, do Lemmy belong in the Rock Hall of Fame? Jelly Rose speak on the beef with him and MGK because they was recently seen together along with Travis Barker. Jelly Rose says, we were both just trying to sell 200 tickets to a bar on the short north in Columbus, Ohio. Hip hop was competitive back then, so of course, with beef like two white rappers, there's only enough room for one white rapper at the time. But we've turned out to be really, really great friends. That's good, man. Stay positive, y'all. Yeah. Bad Omens cancels tour. And Noah had this to say. I've been experiencing what can only be described as extreme burnout. While all the touring and work that we've put into this album cycled the last several years has been so gratifying and rewarding, it has also pushed me to the limits of my mental bandwidth. Putting my mind and body in conflict with one another in ways that are becoming detrimental to my health on the road. That said, after heavy consideration, we've decided that we need to cancel all of our performances coming up this summer in Europe and the UK. This decision is in the best interest of my health and well-being and of the long-term substantiality of bad omens we need to protect and restore all of the energy that will be demanded of us again soon as we transition into the next chapter we know this will be disappointing but we ask that you respect our choice to put health first noah bad omens listen get better noah you feel me because Mental health is for real. I mean, and that's why I, I just give the most props to like Ozzy, Alice Cooper. I mean, I could keep going. 
all of the the um legends in the game, all of the Hall of Famers, because it take a lot to be out there touring. You know, you away from your family, and it could get to you. You touring so much, you flying in there, eating. You know, not you probably not even working out as much because you busy attending to fans, interviews, different projects, and you know what's the next tour date? Oh my gosh! <laughs> So listen, y'all, just understand and, you know, get better and get back on the road, Noah. It's all about health. I like how you said that. Sebastian isn't thinking about Skid Row reunion at all. He's basically like, yo, they like on a ninth person trying to replace me. This is what he had to say. I am overjoyed to hear my voice on the radio in 2024. That is more important to me than thinking about what happened in 91. I just don't think about that, really. Not to say that I wouldn't get the band back together, but I'm just focused like a laser beam on what I'm doing right now. So that's gonna have to take a back seat, like for real. This is more interesting to me. My album, the way it sounds, and the reaction that people are giving it is more exciting and interesting and creating new music instead of just playing the same old songs over and over. I love having new songs to play, even though I haven't learned how to play them yet. Giza Butler said he's been in contact with Ozzy and he's ready to get back and do more shows. This is what Giza had to say. Ozzy is upset, saying he never received my get well messages. I made two different attempts at getting in touch during his illnesses. My first email, February 8th, 2019, went through his office because I didn't have Ozzy's new number to text him. Sharon and manager responded, but I didn't hear back from Ozzy. 11 months later, January 21st, 2020, I emailed Sharon to check on Oz. That email went unanswered. I don't want to engage in a tit for tat. Having made two attempts to wish Ozzy well without a reply, I figured it's best to privately keep him in my thoughts. That's cool, man. You know, it's all about making an attempt and that's what you did. You know, majority of the time, a lot of people be busy and a lot of times, you know, people see your message, but right now it's good that you got back in contact with him and, you know, get ready to get back in the studio with him and perform. That's what we waiting on. Sign up to be a part of the witches and demons community, y'all. We're gonna be creating music, you know, cleaning up the communities. It's so much ahead. Trust me, y'all ain't gonna wanna miss this one. You already know. Hit the link, all right? Email IamWickedWitch at Yahoo.com. You feel me today? <laughs> y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. You already know. This your rock star, Wicked Witch. <laughs> <laughs>